I have struggled a lot trying to put my words together for this episode. I'm worried it wouldn't make sense, but at least I tried to express myself. If I could give it a title to these two weeks, I could name it the short roller coaster. But since I believe in the positive highlight of this episode, it is best to have named it first art goal of the year accomplished or something like that. But before we get to cheer, I want to talk about how I started feeling homesick. I want to be able to stay longer when I'm going to Ivory Coast. It truly felt like I had to grab every sort of positive vibes and hold on to it as if it was the last thing I would do. The problem with that is that I was forcing myself to stay happy when I should have acknowledged that I was just missing home and I needed to miss it. Trying to element the excitement from home while being here is difficult but also pointless. When you accept things for how they are, you can focus on the things that are in your control. And what was in my control was knowing what to do, knowing what to work to get where I want. I talked about setting your goals for the year and like every year I set four art goals for myself. I'm going to share them all at the end of the year or when I accomplish them. One of which I can talk about, which is selling 25 merch items in 2021. I'm very happy to have reached it. Since I started making merch, I've sold 25 items between 2019 and 2020. If I wanted to see real growth, I should have aimed for that amount in half of that time. And I was glad to reach that goal in just four months at the end of the third batch. Of the last hoodie and that would have not be possible thanks to you if it wasn't for sharing my work and supporting me I wouldn't have reached this milestone that's where you should like the video and maybe leave a comment for those still interested in the hoodie reach out this hoodie will be available but not until October the new design is coming in November 9th in celebration of my first merch made in 2019. Once more, thank you. Now I can focus on the other goals, but ever since reaching that goal, I noticed something. My mood gradually went down day by day. I often had to deal with this kind of thing in my life, like when reaching a certain level, I get down a bit before feeling pumped again or need time for myself before moving on or resuming. Just like after my birthdays or after completing the Inktobers or spending a day with friends, I have the need to isolate myself and recharge emotionally. I decided to take out a few things from this vlog because I wanted to address this particular thing. I don't know if it's just me or if other people feel like this at a certain point after reaching a milestone, but I see myself in this situation often. I'm not saying I've lost motivation because that would be a lie. But it's just that the week of the third batch was so intense that I felt like dizzy from it, as if I went on a short roller coaster ride. I don't want to jump on any conclusion or give you final thought on it because I haven't found my answers yet. And I don't want to leave you with an information that might not serve you but I believe taking my time and staying quiet will help me better hear myself.
I'm working on a lot of things between commissions and my melanin artworks that will see light in this year. One of it is that I am preparing a course. Yes, a course. It will be a course for creatives, not only for illustrators or other drawers like me. I am very excited for that and it's a lot of work. I will be giving my full focus in it. And just like my course, I created a challenge for creatives. It's about making a one minute video of your creative process using a list of required shots. The whole challenge needs to be done in three hours. You will find all the details on my Instagram post. I will be selecting and sharing two videos from who participated and will be putting it at the end of each of my vlogs. So if you want to be featured in my vlogs, go see how to participate and good luck. I am mostly active on Instagram, so expect to see some updates there. I will be giving space for me to understand how I feel about all of this and express myself. By the way, my vlogs will be available in podcast format, but I think all that info will be out in the next vlog as well. I hope this episode brought you maybe something. I will see you in the next one. Take care.